welcome good morning it's market day this event I'm getting ready to work is in a new location I um, found it online and they said that I could participate for free because it's the first annual event I know I know but it was free they said that it's from 10 to 4 the whole event I'm supposed to be there by like 7 40 so it's 7 o'clock now so I'm making good time what's going to happen is I'm working it by myself so we're gonna see how it goes today I'm wearing my crochet is my therapy sweatshirt so we're gonna see if this hoodie brings me some luck oh hi I'm Vivian of the Midnight Crafters I run a small business selling mainly crochet plushies and stuffed animals I take you on my adventures mainly doing vlogs and other items dealing with crochet if this is your type of content join me okay i am parked sitting and waiting for them to finish setting up like i said this is the first time they're doing this type of event so things are things are a little chaotic i am hoping that it's a better like later on in the day i'm hoping that the experience is better than coming because i'm very confused very lost i thought the person whose name was listed on the email was the person I was supposed to be in contact with once I got here but then he said no I'm not in charge I'm like so why are you listening to the email I digress like I said this is the first event they've done it's free so we're gonna see how it goes overall it's kind of cool this morning I'm here it's 7 49 I've been here since 7 15 7 16 so I've been sitting and waiting so I can set up they said we can start setting up at 7 40 here we are at 7 50 so I'll, I'll give them some grace they gotta finish marking out all of the the locations they gave me my number for where my booth will be set up I'll be booth number 27 down the way but overall um we gonna see if i'm gonna stay the whole day this might be the first one where i leave early i'm not i'm not saying that i will but we'll see fingers crossed that it goes well All right, I'm all set up. I've been set up for the last like 40 minutes, half hour. It is 10.01. Everything is getting ready to get started. The event is supposed to be from 10 to 4, so we'll see how everything goes. Y'all, major update. So it is now 11.13. I had to wait till the copyright music stopped, but I saw the giant turtle. Ah! I'm so excited. Now I gotta see what else I can sell. I've sold like six items so far, so it's going well. Okay, really quick before the music starts back up. It's been a very busy day. I've made so many sales. I sold those two leggy froggies that I've held on since last Valentine's Day, so those are gone. I am almost finished with Odin the Dragon as well. Um, it is only 118, so I still have about three more hours, but it's still going good. I'll give you an update hopefully pretty soon. I know it's been a minute it's been like ooh, I don't even want to say so the clips you just saw were from October 
5th, my October 5th festival. And it's like now three weeks later. Um, it's been hard trying to get this last part filmed. I've been trying to find time to actually sit and get this to you all, but I digress. Let's just get into it. So from what I can remember, the entire event was a blast. I know it. I was there from like seven in the morning till four in the evening. So I was thoroughly exhausted. It was just me working it, packing up, moving everything. The vendor spot that they gave me was far away from where I was actually parked. So I couldn't just leave halfway through, I, even though I was good and tired, but I didn't get to eat much. So I was, though I was drained, it was very profitable for me. I didn't expect it to be as profitable as it was, but when I say those folks really showed up and showed out, they showed up. Let me just go over all the positives. So first and foremost, my stuff was beloved. The entire atmosphere was upbeat and happy and fun. Oh, and let me not forget, I saw my giant jumbo turtle. Can we let the church say amen? I sold it, it finally sold. Let me let me just go into the story of how it sold. So I was talking to this woman. It was a, a woman and her grandson. They walked up. The grandson looked to be like in his late teens, early 20s. He had some locks and stuff and a yellow hoodie. The, the grandmother, she saw my stuff and she said, oh, I crochet. I don't use this type of yarn, but I do crochet. I'm a part of the crochet club down in um mount harmony and she was telling me all about it and what they make and everything they do so we were having our conversation and then the grandson walks off to go see what else was happening at the event and then he comes back as i'm doing my crochet stuff and he's like is your jumbo turtle for sale and i was like yeah it's for sale he's like 250 dollars, right i was like yeah you know same conversation i always have with everybody who sees the jumbo turtle Instead of, you know, saying, oh my, or, you know, giving the usual comments for it, he said, okay, I'm gonna come back for it. In my head, I'm like, okay, I've heard this before. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. And he walks off. So I'm still crocheting, have a conversation with other people and everything. And then he comes back, which threw me firstly, because he came back first and foremost. So I was like, oh, he must be interested in buying something. Still not thinking he's trying to get the turtle. So he's like, yeah, I'm coming back for the turtle. I was like, oh, what? He was like, what, you didn't believe me? I said, well, normally when people say they're gonna come back, they normally don't come back and get it. And that's when he was like, oh, now I have to get it. And sure enough, he pulls out his card. I swipe it, it goes through. I'm like, I don't have a bag big enough for this. He said, that's fine. And he walks away with the turtle. After That was like early into the event, like two hours into the event, he bought the turtle. So I was like, not even two hours. Like the event started at 10, by 11.30, he bought it. And I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest of my markets for the rest of the year. That was my big ticket item, but I was happy it sold. I was, I was too elated, too elated. Now, I do have to say where there were always positives, there's always those people who just, you know, let me, let me give you an example. I'm not gonna give you all the examples, but the one that sticks out in my mind was towards the end of the day, I'm wrapping up. It's like an hour or like 45 minutes left in the event. This, this I'll say mid-teens, early, mid to late teens, young lady came up with a little girl and she said, hey, can you give this to her for free? And I'll give you some a shout out. I was like, what? She said, yeah, if you give her one of your plushies for free, I'll give her, I can give you a shout out. I was like, no. Then she was like, oh, I was just gonna give you a shout out on social media if you give her a free thing. I was like, no, it's $5. Oh, and then another grandmother came up and she was like, can I get a discount for this? And she looked at my $5 bucket. She's like, can I get this on a discount? I was like, discount for the $5 item? She said, yeah, I said, no. I'm like, people, you gotta give me some worth. As At the end of the day, like, yes, they're $5 and I'm trying to appease my customers, but at the same time, by giving you a discount, I'm essentially not paying myself for the work that 
I put into making it. And it's like, I'm working for free. And that's not why I do this. Like, yes, I like sharing my art, but I'm not trying to give it away. It's one of those things where I put my time, effort, energy, barely enough of the brain power I have into making these products. And you want me to give it away for free? For a shout out on social media? I mean, the same social media I use to promote myself. But whatever. Let's get into the numbers, shall we? And so, for the day, I made over $900. That's $900 that I don't have to split with nobody. I forgot to mention the, well, I did it early in the video, but the vendor fee was, it was free. They were just looking for vendors to participate to because it was a community event. So they just wanted to just have the event ready to go for everybody. So I didn't have to pay anything. I did have to pay some fees, you know, some people use Square, so I did pay like $18 in Square fees, collected taxes. Oh, I'll be glad when tax season is done. But that gave me a net total of over $800 in my pocket. You know, not accounting for the material costs and everything. When we count for all of that, being that I didn't buy any new yarn, it was yarn that I've had for a while and the gas that I had to use, as well as I didn't I didn't eat while I was there, so I didn't buy any new foods or anything. So I didn't really um, spend money on food or other items while I was there. So I did I did save some money there. But when you take into consideration the product use, the gas that I had to use, as well as my time while I was there, I took home five hundred dollars. Not bad, right? Go me. So my best sellers. I will say, overall, my best sellers were turtles of varying sizes and shapes. So, you know, the jumbo turtle, Tiana turtle, tofu turtle. Turtles are always a big hit. I sold a bunch of turtles. Also frogs, leggy frogs and chubby frogs also were very popular. My bird items, my cheeky beakies sold very well. People love my cheeky beakies. My mermaid sold. So, you know, the one with the pink hair and the frilly green? That one sold. I had several people who kept asking me, do you have a brown skin mermaid? And I was like, oh, the brown skin one's all sold first. So I felt kind of bad, but that just lets me know that in my demographic, my market, I need to make more brown toned, brown skinned mermaids for future markets. So that's something I'm gonna look into. Other items that sold very well, my hippos, my octos, you know, the $5 octos, I sold those very well. I sold a couple of my produce items. I only sold one pumpkin. That's not bad. I wasn't really trying to sell those because I needed those for uh, the store that I was entering into the next week. My snap snakes, I sold a couple of those. I sold a couple of those rubber duckies by Nana's Nooks Hooks. I sold a couple of those. The cows sold as well, finally. I mean, it didn't go to the woman who originally asked for it in the beginning of the summer, but it finally sold. Of course, you know, loaf cats, like I said, are always popular. But overall, when I look at the breakdown of how money was spent, most people use their cards to buy things. 70% of my uh, people who uh, bought things use their card, 30% use cash. So it wasn't too bad, you know. Overall, a vibe, a hit, a great time. I got six five more markets to get through for the, before the end of the year. I put about 44, 45 items in the storefront. So they're hanging out there until November 10th. I am also making several commissions for a couple of coworkers who wanted some pumpkins and elephants as well. So I'm pretty busy in the next couple of weeks. So we'll see how things go. Hopefully I can pick up my camera and record some content for you all. There are several videos I wanted to sit down and just make for you, like how to crochet my my pig, my butters butterscotch pig. I wanted to make a video for that. I also have a video that I wanted to make where I explain, well, I review a couple of yarn products for you to give you some dupes for very popular yarns that are out there. So when I can finally sit down, breathe, and take time to film them, 
they'll be coming your way. So I will leave you with that and I'll see you next time. But until next time, goodbye, farewell, and please take care.